I mean, that's sometimes why people are suspicious yes. of expressed positivity in others, yeah. because you don't know quite, is this real? Does this have an ulterior motive? And so, you know, um, I think when people are able to connect with people in a genuine way, we know it. We're, mm. we're, um, humans are just uh, amazing sincerity detectors. So mm. we, uh, we know when it's genuine. I guess the thing is, when you're looking at it, if you were looking at it for yourself, is... How do you think about being authentic and genuine with your own positive emotions inside out? So there are those who, th who put on us this facade that maybe they're not being authentic. Mm -hmm. But from the inside out, you're not saying change your emotions. You're just saying notice your emotions right. when happiness arises. Right. Which and is a very, di very different bodily cue of can we recognize right. different subtle levels of happiness. Right. I mean, and there... I think the way to recognize the genuine article here is that recognize that emotions are, you know, um, by definition, they're a mind and body kind of whole being mm. experience in that um, you, you can't just put it on your face or think happy thoughts. This is not just about sort of up here. <laughs> it's sort of how you carry yourself, how you, you know, the, the warmth you might feel inside. I mean, it's a very rich experience but subtle, uh, and that's one way to know kind of the difference between um, whether you're genuinely feeling positive and, and whether you're trying too hard. I mean, a lot of times it's not just um, in other people where you see the insincere positive emotions, but we, we sometimes so want to feel mm. good mm. that we uh, aren't realizing that we're deceiving ourselves. Mm.